Aussie taking on the most dangerous fighters in the world. This is The Project. What's it like going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the world's most fearsome fighters? Our own Jake the Celtic Kid Matthews talks us through his time in the octagon. The door shuts behind you and then the, the crowd just disappears. It's just you and your opponent. You're watching The Project. Now, UFC is the fastest growing comp in the world and they have just recruited their youngest fighter from right here in Australia. Walking into the cage, you feel the canvas under your feet, the door shuts behind you and then the, the crowd just disappears, it's just you and your opponent. I feel excited but at the same time I feel calm, like I'm, like I'm supposed to be there. Jake Matthews, aka the Celtic Kid, is just 19 and the world's youngest athlete to enter the cage of the ultimate fighting championship. The UFC is the Premier Mixed Martial Arts Organisation. They host shows all around the world. They hold some of the most well-conditioned athletes in the world. Often called cage fighting, UFC is a high-impact sport where every part of the body becomes a weapon. It combines the likes of kickboxing, jiu-jitsu and wrestling. And opponents will pummel each other until someone wins. To the outside eye, MMA seems brutal, but safety is paramount for the UFC. I've never had a serious injury. Honestly, I believe it's one of the safest sports in the world. Anything could happen. Even though you know that there is that protective barrier with what they, they set up with all the athletes and everything, it, it's still quite nerve-wracking. Whether you love or hate the blood sport, there's no denying how big it is. UFC is broadcast in 28 languages in more than 145 countries around the globe. And it's estimated the sport's got around 70 million fans and growing. And despite the UFC's rep for violence, stepping into the octagon has been a dream of Jake's for a long time. It was surreal getting the call up for the UFC. Well, the last four years of my life have been for the hours and putting in training. It just feels like, you know, it's all been worth it. But his passion began by accident. During the off-season playing high-level football, I wanted to find a means to stay fit. Dad suggested I get involved in kickboxing. From there, it progressed into jiu-jitsu and wrestling, and from there, I fell in love. Jake's choice to turn away from football and turn towards mixed martial arts. I can't say I was happy with that in the beginning. But it quickly turned into a family affair. Jake's mum works as his nutritionist, his younger brother has started fighting too, and his dad works as his coach and manager. I wouldn't have it any other way. As long as I've got my dad in my corner, I know, you know I can't lose. And when Jake took to the cage for his debut UFC fight two weeks ago, he proved age and experience is no handicap. <laughs> my debut bout in the UFC was against Deshaun Johnson, so I was happy I couldn't have scripted it better if I tried. A little kid from the northern suburbs of Melbourne, you, you don't expect it. So we're proud parents. Very proud parents. Yeah. And while Jake may snub parties and girls for training and gloves, his dedication is paying off. One day I want to work my way up and become the UFC champion of the world. I'd like to be the, the first Australian champion in UFC history. excited about this kid and I know you guys not everyone at this desk agrees with UFC oh. but I, I find it I find it one of the most skillful and these guys are probably the fittest athletes on earth and I think it's an amazing sport and it's only going to get bigger. Well the last time we did a story on this I mentioned that I wasn't a fan that I had trouble watching it and I got bombarded with people saying I had no clue what I was talking about the fitness the skill level required the oh. you know elite athletes and I understand that I may not appreciate mm. that I just mm. find it hard seeing two All people right. at What's each your other problem but with it? Well, Jake's let's, clearly incredible. Let's get it out in the open I have no clue what I'm talking about <laughs> however I just at the at the core of this sport and I agree it's a sport is fighting why must we have sports that involve combat and bloodshed and violence of any description? Mm. As a parent, I think it's appalling. As athletes, I can see they're extraordinarily well trained. But wouldn't it be great to see it funneled into something else? I mean, I mean any sport, that, you know, there's a lot of... Every sport, there, there's risk of getting hurt. Yeah. Sure. Oh. This one is so yes. artistic in a way that, like, like you said, the, the Jake knows no. about four or five That's different fighting it's styles. He? He's got to go in there and work out how he's going to beat his opponent. That is very hard to do, Jake. I'm, I'm, sure, it's amazing. Hard. I'm sure it's hard. Mm. But the ribbon in rhythmic gymnastics is artistic. And <laughs> this have, you, have you got a ribbon in your eye before? It can take your eye out, Joe. I don't, I don't mind a bit of biff in sport. I'm all for it. I don't mind a bit of blood in sport, but I don't like blood sports. It's not my go. I totally appreciate their athleticism. Oh, yeah. A lot of those guys come through other sports that they excel at. 
But I mean, UFC. Some people like lawn bowls. Some mm. people don't like it. You know, I, I'm I guessing just... they're not the same people. Probably not the same people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Jake is incredible though. His next bout has not yet been announced, but there is a UFC event coming up in Sydney later in the year, and hopefully he'll be there.